Well, today does mark six months since Hamas's attack on Israel on October 7th. More than 250 people were taken hostage that day. And much has happened in the time following that unexpected assault. More than 600 soldiers have been killed in combat, and some 9,100 rockets have crossed into Israeli territory from the Gaza Strip. More than 33,000 Palestinians have been killed, women and children making up for two-thirds of those killed. The White House calling for an immediate ceasefire, Israel demanding a release of the remaining hostages, Hamas calling for the immediate retreat of Israel from Palestine. Meanwhile today, a new threat from Iran, the country telling Israel its embassies are not safe. They've now vowed to strike Israel in retaliation for the bombing of its embassy in Syria. This all coming as Israel prepares to go on the offensive in Lebanon, fighting wars on multiple fronts. Correspondent Alina Shirazi is tracking it all from Washington for us. Alina, what's the very latest on Iran's planned strike? Well, Kelsey, Iran with a new warning tonight telling Israel that none of its embassies are safe. We also know that Iran's top military commander also called Israel's action suicide, vowing payback. Meanwhile, Israel continues plans for its invasion of Rafah six months to the day since the Hamas terror attack that killed more than 1,000 Israelis. Destruction in the southern Gaza city of Khan Yunis today as the Israeli army prepares to withdraw thousands of forces from the region, dropping its troop presence to one of the lowest levels since its full-scale counteroffensive to the deadly Hamas terror attacks on October 7th. In Washington, the White House signaling a lack of patience with their top ally in the Middle East. And the president was clear with the prime minister, if there's not changes, if things don't get better, then we're going to have to make changes of our own. Meanwhile, Gazans return to shattered buildings, their lives forever changed by war. On the northern border with Lebanon, the Israeli military preparing to go on the offensive. And tonight, a new threat from Iran telling Israel that none of its embassies are safe anymore as U.S. and Israel intelligence prepares for counterattacks from Iran following the bombing of its embassy in Syria by Israel this week. In response, a spokesperson for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu emphasized Israel is not seeking a war with Iran, but will do whatever it takes to defend itself. The building that was struck, according to our intelligence, was in fact a military base in disguise. We will defend ourselves uh, whenever it takes, wherever it takes. We don't seek wars, but if somebody's hurting us, if somebody's threatening to hurt us uh, further, uh, we will do whatever it takes to, to defend ourselves. And as for Iran's potential revenge plot, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vows Israel's prepared, adding that whoever harms them will also be harmed in return. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.